Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting video. Today I'll be doing a landscape painting. I decided to paint a peaceful um, park with a bench. So we'll also be doing a light play today. And yeah, I think I'm quite peaceful today <laughs> because, um, you know, yesterday, I think some of you already know that my plants have already been transferred to um, my mother's house because um, I'll be leaving soon and if I leave them here in my unit there will be no one to take care of them when, uh, when I leave already so yeah it was not a hard decision but uh, when I came to the realization that they're already gone everything just sank in and i just felt so sad yesterday so yeah just telling you the background story of the painting <laughs> so today i'll be painting a somehow peaceful painting that i'm hoping could give some sort of peace to you as well so there, uh, the colors that i'll be using for today's painting tutorial are as follows we have black Lemon yellow, primary blue, burnt sienna, titanium white, and sap green. Let's begin now. I'm gonna sketch first the subject as always. And for the sketch, I'm just gonna use an ordinary paintbrush. Doesn't have to be any particular brush at this point because we're just trying to identify where things are gonna go. So yeah, I'll be sketching first. And for the sketch, I'll be getting, um, maybe I'm gonna start with green since we'll be using a lot of green today. So I'm gonna get my sap green, just wet my brush, get my green, just to show you where things are gonna go. This is not the final color of anything at the moment. So this will be the horizon, okay? It's like one third of my square canvas. So I'm suggesting that you use a square canvas for this one. Any size will do, but the dimensions should be square, okay? You can use a big square canvas, a small square canvas, as long as it's square. It's square. Okay, so the, um, there will be a pathway here. Okay. So this will be the pathway and everything here will be grasses. Just letting you know where the grasses are gonna go. This is where the bench will be placed. This is just a rough, super, super rough guide where things are gonna go. All right, and there will be background grasses in the back, or background grasses, of course. So the background grasses could be as abstractish as you want, as you want them to be. It could be of any shape as long as it suggests uh, some foliage in the background, all right? So there will be trees, but we'll be painting against the light. So everything, the branches and the, the tree trunks will be of a silhouette type of painting. So yeah, there will be big branches of trees here and big trunks. But as you can see here, I'm, I'm just playing around. <laughs> so I'm gonna, okay, we're done with the sketch, guys. I know that it looks like a child's drawing. At the moment, it looks like a railway, and there's another railway. <laughs> but yeah, this is how I do my painting, okay? So I'm gonna sketch, oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna underpaint first, okay, the sky. And for that, I'll be using my titanium white. I'll be getting my blue, primary blue. I'll be getting a little bit of black, just to tone the color down. I can definitely use more white for this, okay? So this is like the color, it's like um, pastel-y, bluey color. And I'm gonna start by underpainting the background. Okay, just remember where we placed our sketch because all of the sketch in the background will be painted over. So sometimes I'm adding a little bit of white just to give some light color. We don't want to just use blue in the background. So it, um, the style will be 
uh, up to you. You can use a super blue background, but we'll be playing with light today, so let's add a little bit of white in the background. So as you can see here, I'm applying just pure white. Okay, with the blue mixture that we had earlier. Okay, another mixture of blue here. If you're asking where my plants go, yeah, I, as I told you guys, they are now in my mother's house in another city. So, yep. Okay, I'm gonna add more white right here. Try to cover the sketch lines that we had. Okay, again, this is just the background sky or the background color, but we'll be painting something over that to suggest some distant foliage. We're not going to super detailed foliage because they are in the background. All right, just adding white. Actually, we'll be using a lot of white today because when I do paintings that have light play to it, um, I consume more white than usual all right so you can do as many layer as many layers as you want if the sketch lines are not being covered you can simply put another layer of paint in my case i don't mind having thin layer here because again it will be covered with some foliage later but if you're not happy with the layers or if your paint is not that thick you can simply just layer over layer, okay? I think that will do. Now let's go and underpaint this grassy part of the painting. And for that, I can use this brush. No need to wash it because this is just, again, the underpainting. So I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get my, okay, I'm gonna wash it, guys, because the white is gonna mix with the green and the brown, making it a light paint color. So I'm gonna get my sap green. This is actually super dried acrylics. I didn't get too much green, but it's super dry. That's why, yeah, this is just pure. As you can see here, it's super dry. I'm gonna mix it with burnt sienna, all right? And I'm gonna add a little bit of black. Again, this is the underpainting. It should be a little darker than the actual color. So let's go and underpaint now this part. I'm using or I'm doing a vertical brush stroke or some vertical brush strokes for this part. This is just the underpainting again. You don't have to worry too much about this part. Just enjoy. Some people enjoy abstract painting. If you're one of them, this is the time where you can enjoy just playing with or playing around. You don't have to be too, too tight, too strict. Okay. Try to remove the sketch lines by going over the sketch lines, suggesting some irregular or uneven brush strokes here, like that, because these are grasses. Okay. When we go into detailing later, this will have more uneven lines. So remove that straight sketch lines that we had. Remove that already. Okay, we've underpainted that grassy part. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing on this area. So while we're at this color, just mix again your green and black and brown. Okay, and then let's go and underpaint that bottom part. Again, try to remove already that straight sketch line because we don't need that anymore. Okay, I'm gonna use water because my paint is quite dry.
Okay? Just cover this area with that color. Okay. And yes, we're done with the underpainting of the sky or the background. The foreground divided into two grassy part or grassy sections now we're going to we're going to underpaint this middle section the pathway where the uh, where the bench is located okay actually it's not a pathway if something is blocking it right i should not call it pathway it should be this, that cemented area in the park where the bench is all right it's it's a longer explanation but i think that better explains that that part of the 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 image <laughs> okay it cannot be the pathway if the chair or the bench is blocking the way right am i correct or am i correct <laughs> so i'm gonna underpaint that i'll be using a quite small can uh no 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 paint brush because we're going into a tighter space here so my previous brush was quite thick and wide so i'm gonna use a thinner and smaller brush and for the underpainting, I'm just gonna get my burnt sienna and my white here, and maybe black, just to tone the color down. Maybe this color, okay? And I'm just gonna go and paint, or underpaint this part. All right, so there you go. We've underpainted that part. Again, this is not the actual color, but we need to underpaint it to give it some darker tones and shadows. All right, now let's proceed and do the background foliage. Again, the background foliage is a mere suggestion of what's in the background. We will not go into full detailing of the foliage. Okay, these are mere suggestion, again, almost abstractish, but with intention. So for that, I'll be getting again my sap green, and I think I need more white. We'll be using a lot of white today. So I just got more white, mix it with the green, okay? to make it look like milky green i'm gonna add a little bit of blue like this and burnt sienna to make it more neutral or more muted okay i'm gonna dry brush meaning with this brush i'm just gonna remove the excess water by dabbing it on my towel and i'm gonna start creating some suggestion of of anything in the background that uh, would suggest foliage this could be anything bushes plants trees grasses tall grasses okay so just be abstractish here you don't have to be super super detailed again i keep emphasizing that because getting too detailed at this moment is a waste of time i think because it will be covered with lots and lots of white later. So this is just not to do away with the background. We don't want the background to be just plain white because that is not realistic. You know, in the park, there are usually lots, lots of trees. So we cannot just do away with those details, but we don't have to tire ourselves in detailing those details if if you get what i mean guys so i'm gonna add a little bit of white just to add a little more spacing in between those background foliage again i'm doing an abstract here you don't have to copy exactly what i'm doing i'm just suggesting how to do it okay all right 
You don't have, again, to overdo this step because this will be covered with paints and more tall trees later. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little bit of brownie color that we have here. Remember when we did this part, just use that brownie color and you can go over certain areas here and there. Again, do not overdo this step. Just to suggest that there are brownie colors in the background that we cannot just, you know, skip that part. We cannot just skip that part. It should be there, but they should not be the main focus of the painting. Again, I'm just adding white here and there. Now, if you're worried that I'm ruining my paintbrush because I keep dry brushing, um, I've explained it many times in my other videos that I really don't mind using my brush this way because I think my brushes are doing the job for me when I allow them to be used this way. Not being harsh. I'm just... I'm just not scared, all right? I'm gonna add more white right here because we'll be doing a lot of light play today. All right. Okay, like spots of white here and there. Okay, this is just the background, guys, the background. So be easy on yourself. You don't have to overwork this stage. All right, I think this is good. This is a good background already. Now, okay, I'm gonna set this aside, the brush that I use for dry brushing, and I'm gonna go and sketch the tree trunks. So I'll be using, I'm gonna get back to this size of brush i'm gonna get my black make sure that your brush is quite damp or no 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 it's quite wet so that when you glide onto your canvas in creating those tree trunks it's much easier for you to to you know draw or sketch so i'm gonna uh, do first the mid section so that i can proportion everything so i'm just gonna lay it flat on the canvas and I'm just going to create some silhouette. Okay. And then I'm going to go. And don't make straight lines as you do the, the tree trunks because it's not really realistic. I know that it really looks ugly at this moment. like that okay and we're, we're gonna do some more tree trunks okay I'm gonna wet my brush dab onto my black okay this is the mid um, tree so let's go and make some more as you go down the tree trunks become quite wider gonna frame the painting by adding some black silhouette on the side framing means um, making the audience or the viewer focus more on the center by darkening the sides making it look like a vignette okay 
Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing here, but this will be gray out later, all right? Because of the light. Again, try to make your tree trunks quite wobbly, suggesting more natural uh, tree trunks. Uh, I know for sure that most of us, if not all, have seen tree trunks. They're not really perfect. The shapes are quite wobbly, asymmetrical. Again, some of these tree trunks will be lightened later because of the light play. So this is not the final, the final color. But we have to do it step by step. So everything is dark for now. I think something is going on outside our building. Like a repair or something. I think you can hear some machine. I don't know if you can hear that. But I can definitely hear it. Alright, like that. Okay, this is nice guys. So... Before we go into the foliage making, let's allow this paint to dry. Let's go to the grassy part. And for that, I'm going to wash my brush out. Okay, maybe not. I'm just going to do, while I'm at it already, I'm just going to do smaller um, branches. Because we're at it already. So we might as well take advantage of this. Time before we change our colors let's use what we have okay so i'm just gonna add okay i can definitely hear some machines oh. it's sunday today but i think some construction work is going on okay again Add some branches here and there and your branches should be different from each other some will be thin some will be thicker smaller a little wobbly a little straighter no particular pattern and no symmetry going on just proportion and um, balance all right like that okay so let's proceed now to doing some detailing on the grassy part and for that i think i'll be using my fan brush so get your fan brush i'm gonna wet it a bit i'm gonna dab onto my sap green again and mix it with yellow okay to create yellow green add a little bit of burnt sienna to tone the color down and i'm just gonna use the tip of my fan brush and go vertical in my brush strokes this is very preliminary but we should start from somewhere so i'm gonna go and overlap those tree trunks i don't know why they're doing some construction work at this time of the day this time of the week Okay, I'm gonna Okay. I'm gonna add more yellow and I'm gonna apply okay. I'm not grabbing the yellow. I'm gonna add more yellow right here. Okay. You should not apply yellow everywhere, just on random sections or random areas. Alright. And in the same manner here, I think this is too yellow. I'm gonna get the greeny color mixture. Okay, just go up and down using your fan brush, creating some grass like brush strokes. Okay, sometimes I'm moving my fan brush this way, as you can see here. like that 
try to overlap as well the pathway so that your grasses looks more natural you don't want it to be like cut perfectly because nature is not like that all right now i'm gonna get my burnt sienna and mix it with the existing yellow green that i have here i'm gonna add white so that it's quite browny i'm gonna add green i think that's that's too brown that i did there and now i'm gonna use this color to add more details on the grass again slightly tapping on each part of this grassy section don't press too hard just allow the brush to do the work for you by allowing it to touch the canvas without pressing too hard Okay, we need some negative spaces now because of too much green and yellow. Okay, now I'm going to get my black. I did not wash my brush. There's no need for you to wash a brush. And I'm going to mix it with my dried green color here. And I'm going to create some negative. Okay, I'm going to add more black some negative spaces just to give some shadow in between and of course i'm going to add a little bit of shadowing already so the light is coming from the back so if the light is hitting this tree there should be shadow right here right Also here. Also here. Okay. But the light is coming from here. So this area should be really, really light or bright later. I'm not going to um, put so much shadow here. I'm gonna wash my brush out. Now let's go back to the trees because I think the paints are already dry. I'm just gonna use again my fan brush since we're at it already. I should not have washed my brush actually. I'm gonna dab onto my black again. Let's create some uh, foliage. Again, I'm just using the tip of my brush, barely touching, okay, I think my paint is quite watery, ba uh, barely touching um, the canvas, allowing the paints to just do its job, the paint brush to do its job. We're not going to make a lot of foliage today because we'll be focusing more on light. So I'm just dabbing lightly. 
Okay, now I'm gonna switch to green. I'm not washing my brush, okay? I'm switching to green, and again, in the same manner. Just dab. Okay, I think the machine started again. What is that going on on a Sunday? All right. Some suggestion of foliage down here. Okay, now I'm going to get my white. Mix it with the existing green that you see here. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. I think I need more yellow. So I'm going to get my yellow, mix it with the green and white mixture, and let's go and do more foliage. Okay, here. Since this will be more bright, this area, the foliage will be lighter in color as the light hits them. Here as well. Okay, I'm gonna add more white to create more light. Especially where the light is. Okay, I'm gonna add yellow. Right here. And we're gonna correct this area later because as I told you, it will be more of a silhouette type of tree trunks. So if you paint it over the the tree trunk, just like what I did here, I can simply correct that by adding black okay applying white here and there randomly applying white Here as well. Oops, I think someone messaged me. Right. Okay, I'm going to use my hand. All right, let me check. All right, we're doing well. <laughs> we're doing well, actually. Now, as I told you guys, I'll be correcting the tree trunks part and retaining that silhouette um, color. Just correct that. It's easily correctable because it's just black. Right, like that. 
Okay, we're gonna allow this area to really, really dry because we're gonna be glazing over it with a lot of white. Okay, so now let's sketch the, what they call that? The, the bench, all right? So for the sketch of the bench, I'm just gonna use my brush and dab it onto my black. Maybe I'm gonna use a little bit of burnt sienna just to remove that super black color. Okay, and for that part, I'm just gonna use this, well, I'm not gonna use any ruler or anything like that. So be easy on yourself doing this one. Okay, I'm gonna use lighter brown since you cannot see the sketch if I use simply black. Okay, I'm gonna use a gray color so the bench will be right here. First, draw a straight line up to this point. All right, like that. Next is to draw some sort of diagonal line like that. And also here, just like that. Okay, now, Make another diagonal line and diagonal line. I hope you can see, yeah, you can see. And then just let that area, these two points meet, okay, just like that. Okay. Now let's create the, the armchair. like that and then like that that all right like that it's not very difficult right okay now that we've done that we're gonna go inside so again just make this line a little more straight and we're gonna do another line okay and then another line and then another line until you reach that that part of the armchair or of the bench where you sit all right so here all right like that okay this is very nice okay now that i've shown you already the general shape of this subject okay i'm gonna dab onto my black since the initial um color that I was supposed to, to, to use was black. So I'm going to get my black. I'm going to darken this part first. Actually need more black. Okay. I'm just gonna darken again this area.
And then darken this area again. All right. Now we're going to darken lines in between those bars. Just go under that sketch line. Okay, I'm just going under, trying to make. Okay. I hope you understand what I'm meaning. Just go under those gray brownie color. Like that. You can create your own design. Now let's do some highlights so that this bench will um, make more sense. Okay, I'm gonna get my brown and white. Okay, like this. Maybe yellow, add more white. This will be the highlight. So just go and highlight this part. As I told you guys during the video, during the intro of this video, we'll be doing some light play today. The background is not yet finished. We'll be adding more touches, touches later to, to give sense to the highlights on the bench. And then I'm going to highlight this area as well. And then here, highlight. All right, I'm going to get my white making it really light or bright.
on the right side Now, using white, I'm just going to spread that on certain areas down here. Again, not, all, not on all areas, but on certain areas. Okay. Now we start the light playing. Okay, now I'm going to get my gray. So just mix your white and black. And we're going to gray some areas on the pathway. Oh, no, no, not the pathway again. On this concrete. All right, let me check. Okay, good. Okay, now let's go back to the background um, trees, okay? We're gonna lighten it because it's quite empty. I'm gonna use a fairly big brush for this step. So I'm gonna get my white. Again, be careful about this step. You want to use pure white. You don't want other colors to mix. So I'm gonna use a dry brush. I'm gonna get my white, okay? And I'm gonna dry brush again by lightening, okay? Making circular brush strokes on the background. Okay. Again, I told you that we'll be lightening some branches on trees right on the red side. For now, let's create some circular brush strokes. Also here. I'm gonna wet my brush a bit. I'm gonna dab onto my white again. And I'm gonna start creating some sun rays. But remember that we are, okay, I think, I thought my paint was already dry, but it turned out, okay, some of the black is still there.
white here and down here I'm dry brushing I'm gonna make some spots of white here and there Lots of white. All right, I'm gonna dab onto my yellow, mix it with the white. to really give up that bright, warm feeling. And by the way guys, don't worry uh, that even if I'm um, I'll be abroad to study. I'll be down, I mean, uploading videos, okay, consistently, weekly on my YouTube channel. I'll be doing them in advance so that we don't have to worry. All right, this is good. Okay, we're not yet done. I'm going to keep going, going back on certain areas, especially on the foliage. So I'm going to wash my brush out. Okay, let's go back to the foliage. I'm going to get my fan brush I'm going to get my black mix it with sap green you know as I told you this is a super dry paint so I'm going to reapply Okay, do not overdo this step. Just very minimal, okay? Very minimal. I'm barely touching the canvas. And then add, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna apply right here. I'm gonna make some taller grasses. Just suggestion. Okay. 
Can you think of a title for this painting? Um, I think this is, this is a very peaceful painting. <laughs> I'm gonna get my black and again just create some darker grass-like brush strokes here. Let me check. All right. I want to add more foliage in the background. I feel like it's quite empty. I'm going to get my yellow green. And I'm going to make like that. Try to spread the paint so that it looks like more um it's like being hit by the light Just fixing the silhouette. Now I'm gonna get my gray. So with this black color, I'm just gonna get my white. Like this gray, a little get a little bit of greeny. Now I'm going to add a little bit of that color here and there. We want to really suggest fullness of the background foliage. Even if they're not really seen, um, the suggestion of their being full and lush should be there. I'm going to dab on a little bit of gray color here and there as well, right here. Okay, dry brushing. Okay. Okay, wash your brush out. Now I want to get my pure white again. We are not yet done with doing some highlights. So I'm just going to make some random patterns of white markings, I should say, on the background, okay? You don't have to make them smooth. Just dab on a little bit of markings here and there. These are spaces where you see the sky, okay, the clouds, and the light. You don't have to use your fingers to do this. You don't want to blend. You want some sharp, round, white patterns on the light or bright colors or areas on the painting. Okay. 
see, even in between those trees. in between Now let's go back to the bench highlighting Let me check, all right? This is really nice, oh my God. Now, I'm gonna use again my brush, my wider brush. Let's do some rays of light using pure white. So I'm gonna use water and then my white. Okay, I'm just gonna make it super watered down and I'm gonna, okay, go and make some. Race like that. All right, it's amazing. can glaze the bench to make it really really sunny and warm I'm gonna get my burnt sienna. Okay, and randomly apply some burnt sienna here and there. Again, you don't want it to be super yellow or super green. We want some suggestion of um, natural changes on the grass, on the soil, on the trees. You don't want it to be just pure green and yellow. There should be some sort of brownie colors. Not only will it make your painting more natural, but it will also um, it will also give that feeling that this is relatable, you know? Again, just hints of browns here and there. Okay. I absolutely love this painting. Oh my God. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just trying to fix the silhouette because. Wow, this is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you want to fix the painting, okay, I'm just fixing the size of the bars. Trying to fix some areas as well. Alright, this is really good. Really peaceful, right? some more greens Absolutely, absolutely nice. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow just to um, make those green grasses yellow green, not white. Just glaze over mm -hmm. okay just like that okay nothing too crazy absolutely love it now i'm gonna sign this now i think we're done we're done oops by the way let me just fix this area i think this is weird All right, I just straightened that bench. Okay, I'm gonna sign this now. I'm gonna get my white and sign right here. Okay, we're done. We're done guys, I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you find peace in this painting and i hope you do this one as well if you like this painting let me know in the comment section below if you want to know if i'm sad because my plants are no longer here with me i'm not really sad i just miss them i cannot be sad because they're in good hands anyway but i cannot be i cannot pretend that i'm absolutely okay because you know i've uh raised race like animals no i mean i've grown those plants for the longest time so yeah i kind of miss my plants i know that they're just plants to some people but still they are very important to me and i think this painting inspires me to go out and explore nature more especially when i already leave for my studies so see you in my next video i hope you enjoy this one guys